दुष्यम रामीति मधुर मधुराक्षर आरोह्य कविता शाखा वंदे वाल्मीकि कोकिल जयत्याश्रित संस विध्वंस नोदय प्रभावान्सीतया दिव्या परम व्योम भास्कर परम व्योम भास्कर श्रीमते निगमांत महादेशिकाय नम जटायु वन ऑफ द lesser sung heroes in the ramayana the world recognizes at large bhagavanta hanumanta's contribution hanuman is treated with sheer respect devotion and love we will see his prabhavam in kishkinta sundara and yuddha kandams no doubt but jatayu is no less he sacrificed his very life vedanta deshika says विक्रम यशो लाभ विक्रीत जीवित गृधराज देह विधक्षा लक्षित भक्त जन दाक्षिण्य सच इज द ग्रेटनेस ऑफ जटायु दिस इज सेड ऑन वन साइड वेल ऑन द अदर साइड देर वेर टू वैलिड क्वेश्चन रेस्ट वॉट वेर दोज क्वेश्चन वेन रामा हु वॉज अ लैमिंटिंग ओवर द किडनैप ऑफ सीता cried to the telaka tree to the karnikara pushpam to godavari nadi asking where is sita lamenting to lakshmana that i cannot survive without sita even after listening to the suggestions and advice of lakshmana continued crying suddenly looks at a dying bird jatayu and says go to vaikuntham i grant you moksha so the first question when he has the ability to grant moksha moksha pradatvam why should he cry he can solve the problem he is not able to solve the very problem of how sita has been abducted how did he suddenly get the power to grant moksha first question second understandably jatayu has more disqualifications not to get moksha but how did he get moksha to this a great acharya who was the prime disciple of bhagavad ramanuja acharya in the 11th century his name was kuresha shri vatsa chinha mishrebhya nama ukti madhimahe yaduktaya strayi kanthe yanti mangala sutra tav so both the acharya bhagavad ramanuja and his prime disciple kuresha belonged to a gotram a lineage called harita so they were kulod bhuta of harita kulam they were carrying the lineage of harit maharshi harita kulod bhuta on a very side note with many many disqualifications surmounting me probably the smallest qualification that i have to even touch ramayanam is that i also belong to the same lineage of harita gotram so kuresha the great poet bhakta paramagnani says in the 11th century in one of his celebrated poems called as ati manusha stavam ati manusha shila vritta veshaihi ati vritta amara vikrama pratapaihi ati langhita sarvaloka samyam varaye vaishnava vaibhava avataram in that he answers this both these questions the first question prichami kinchana yada kila raghavatve maya mrigasya vashago manujatva modhyat sita viyoga vivasho na cha tadgati gnyaha 
The other reason is, imagine a child has been given a bucket full of water and this small plastic cover, we should not support plastic, I am just using it for an example. The child opens the plastic cover and I say the entire bucket full of water has to come within the plastic cover. The child will pour the first mug, second mug of water, third, the plastic cover can't hold beyond it. As he or she pours the fourth mug of water and ties it up for the first few seconds that packet full of water will stay as is slowly you see suddenly there will be an outburst and water will start seeping through one of the holes why because there is too much of force put on that particular material similarly the lord chooses to be born for we to get redemption he has packed all his ananta kalyana gunam in the small form as rama avataram he is trying to behave like a normal human being but in certain occasions even without his control his paramatma gunam will just tear open and come one such incident where that paramatmatvam tears open is jatayu moksha because a normal primitive mortal human being doesn't have the ability to grant moksham to anybody leave alone himself or herself when rama says gacha loka ananuttaman go to moksham for that instance he forgot that he was a human being and he attains his paramatma swarupam answer next with respect to disqualifications what are the qualifications to get moksham that you have to resort to one of the upayams, the means to attain moksha. The jivatma has to resort to a means. You know the tattvam, you know the hitam, the means, and you know the purushartham, the fruit that you will obtain. After having sound knowledge of this, you resort to a means. Did Jatayu do that? As much as we know Ramayana from Valmiki and other versions, there is no mention of him performing karma yogam, jnana yogam, importantly bhakti yogam or even sharanagati. There is no such mention. So let us assume that since there is no mention, he has not performed bhakti yoga or sharanagati. So that is the first disqualification. Second, he was the one who used to survive on dead matter. Hygiene is paramount in sanatana dharma. Ahara shuddhau sattva shuddhihi, sattva shuddhau dhruvasmutihi. Even the western world says cleanliness is next to godliness. So, godliness comes first. Next comes cleanliness. In Sanatana Dharma, cleanliness in both physically, what you eat, your surrounding society is equally important as much as godliness. So, in such a scenario, this bird has been a scavenger eating on dead carcasses. All the carcass, all the dead matter that lies this bird will eat. So, what orthodoxy does the bird follow? Nothing. Second disqualification. Third, by fighting against a person who had mastered the Vedas, it was killed by that person. Ravana was a person of no character. But initially it used to be said that Brahmanas had to be very, very calm. They should not get angry. Don't curse anybody unnecessarily like Durvasa. Be very calm. So they had to win over anger. They had to win over lust. On the other hand, Ravana neither won over anger nor lust. But he was still a person who had mastered the Vedas. So it was a presumption in those days that if a Brahmana kills the other person, the other person must have provoked him to that extent. Which may not be true in the case of Ravana. Though he was a Brahmana, he did not imbibe any quality that that Varna should have. So he was killed by a Brahmana. Jatayu was killed by a Brahmana. So, that person is called Agrahyata. So, there were three disqualifications. The Acharya says, Akshunya Yoga Patham Agrahyatam Jatayum Tiryancha Meva Bata Moksha Pathe Niyoktum Shaknoshi Vetsicha 
यदा कथम तम देवी मनलम यतिथो विचिन्वत बट ई गॉट मोक्षम हाउ बिकॉज द आचार्य से इज वेरी क्लियरली डिस्पाइट अस्यू ऑफ डिस्कॉलिफिकेशन इफ द लॉर्ड आउट ऑफ इज करुणा अनुकंपा दया मर्सी चूस टू ग्रांट मोक्षम टू एनी बडी नो डिस्कॉलिफिकेशन कैन स्टॉप द लॉर्ड फ्रॉम ग्रांटिंग मोक्षम टू दैट पर्सन सो दिस इज द सेकेंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग now jata you submitted himself to the lord and attained moksham says another acharya called deshika avadhirya chaturvidham pumartham bhavadarte viniyukta jeevita san labhate bhavata phala nijantuhu nikhilan yatra nidarshanam jatayuhu the commentator govinda raja to substantiates valmiki's claim that rama granted moksham to jatayu and that jatayu went to vaikuntham using these two quotations from the summa puranam there is a quotation matkrite nidhanam yasmat tvaya praptam vijottama tasman mama prasadena vishnu loka ma vapsyasi another quotation atha yadatah paro divo फाइनल जटायु शास्त्र दृष्टेन विधिना जलम गृध्राय राघव स्नात्वात गृध राजा उदक चक्रुस्तुटीटल the commentator gives the reason nanu vairikottamo ramaha katham heena jatim tiryancham vairikena karmana samskrutavan how did rama belong to the kshatriya kulam perform final rites for that jatayu which is not so great maivam tasya atyanta bhaktatvena jate rapagamat for which the commentator says नशूद्रा भगवत भक्ता विप्रा भागवत स्मृता सर्वर्णेशु तेशूद्रा यदत्ता यदनादने इफ यू आर ए डिवोटी ऑफ जनार्दन ऑफ विष्णु वेदर यू आर अ चंडाला वेदर यू आर अ शूद्र वैश्य क्षत्रिय ब्राह्मण डज मैटर अल्टिमेटली एट द एंड ऑफ द डे यू आर अ भागवतोत्तम द बेस्ट अमंग्स दिवोटी how you are born what is your chosen profession how your family members are doesn't matter your actions is what that determines this particular outcome so rama undoubtedly without any hitch full heartedly whole heartedly performed the final rites of jatayu says valmiki and even kalidasa concurs tayos tasmin navi bhuta पितृव्यापत्तिशोको पितरी वाग्नि संस्कारा पराव्रिते क्रिया सो ई पर्फॉर्म द फाइनल रईट्स सो दिस् क्वेश्चन ऑफ वन वर्ण पर्फॉर्मिंग फाइनल रईट्स फॉर द अदर वर्ण इज इट रॉंग विल द सोसईटी एक्सेप्ट इज ऑल ब्रोकन बिकॉज इन भगवद भक्ति देर इज नो वर्ण यू हैव टू रेस्पेक्ट ईच अदर देन रामा ऑर्डर्स इम टू गो टू वैकुंठम से तुलसीदास जी तानु तजेतात जाहु मम धाम देवो का तुम पूरन का मा गो टू दैट लोकम यू डोंट हैव टू बी बोर्न अगेन एट ऑल जटायु सेस रामा जटायु मोक्षम इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट जंक्शन इन रामायणम that answers so many questions pertaining to paramatma who is rama to a jeevatma who is jatayu to bhagavat bhakti which jatayu had towards rama and towards moksha pradatvam which rama had towards jatayu next episode more interesting content dear astika reader i am happy to be authoring a two part book 
on the Ramayana in English. The first part is slated for release in the year 2024. The book aims to recreate and retell the Ramayana of Valmiki, conforming to the ancient commentaries and other allied literature. To receive notifications of the book release, kindly register with www.deshikadaya.org/books. Namaskaram.